I'm going to also close up the dark markings so everything matches up. So this is the dark markings we have on the yoke. So I will cut the dark marking at the exact point and I'm going to merge it right here. Okay. So you can see how I closed it up at that point. So it matches up accordingly. So I will match it up. So we have it as one piece. So the dart there is closed. This is the first dart that marking. If you notice, I'll also close it up. So I'm closing it up right away. So you can see the sweetheart is still in shape. So whatever fabric you wish to use for this, you are going to place what you have there, add your seam allowances. But note that this particular dress is technical. So you need to be a super, super advanced person to sew this. So you can go ahead and pad up this part and then sew this. So by the time you sew this to this and sew this to this, and come in and sew this attached to it. You know this part is the busty part, so it's actually going to push it up um, accordingly. It's going to push up accordingly. And then you sew this to this. So once you sew this to this, it's going to come into this line. And this one sewn to it as well goes into that line. And then this one will come and merge together after this has been sewn we are going to continue the process from this point okay the part we have right here is going to be sewn like this can you see that so i'm working with paper right here so it might not actually fall exactly in place but once you cut it on fabric, you see everything matching up accordingly. So to form the bask, simply I'll come in with my paper on the bask part. And I'm going to place my the additional paper from this point, which is also the center front. I'm going to apply my adhesive so the damp part of that dress is draped in fact that dress you are seeing right there is a classical dress okay so you can if you are you if you might find it difficult to sew this as a busty you can make it as a plain dress so i'm going to measure from here to here at five inches for my busty my Bask, and I'm going to connect it back to the waistline. So, of course, you know how to make your bask dresses. And if you don't know how to make it, we have little videos on how to make bask corsets on this channel. Drafting and sewing, okay? Corsets sew along and other classes. All right, people. So, this is what you have right here. So by the time everything is sewn and cut and sewn, you start to see the effects of what we have right here. Okay, so this one will be sewn attached to this while this comes in. And the pattern pieces we have right here from this uh, creative uh, um, hat design, yoke. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So once again, if you cannot assemble this, if you know you are not super, super, super advanced and you cannot assemble this, you can make this sweetheart or the plain dress so you'll be able to assemble it. So thank you for coming once again and see you in the next one.